Happy Home Brew Wednesday. Pop a beer. Interesting week or two and uh, crack this open and we'll uh, have a talk. Put it here somewhere. That's the um, wheat beer I did a while back. And I think if anything I should have slightly dumped down on the carbonation of it because it's been going a bit uh, a bit mad as it's been warming up. It's also been chilled. Uh, can you hear all but there in the background? Got a pour. Looking great. Clear at the moment, I'll put some uh, yeasty bits in after. So, right. Still tasting great. Got a couple more of these kits. Uh, £15, I believe now. Can pick the odd ones up for the £10, as someone mentioned on my channel. And uh, I did get there, but it was too late. Oh, but give over. Right, um, been up to. Yep, took our bow last week. Yeah, Friday afternoon. Oh, sorry, before we go there. A milestone, 600 subs this week, so thanks very much for everybody for your support. Um, took our bow for what? Friday. Went through the woods. All of a sudden, a bit of a hole, um, badger hold my foot, went down, went to steady myself with my other foot, and a massive crack. Ended up Friday afternoon in A&E for three and a half hours, uh, came out, pair of these. Fortunately, not too severe, just a really bad sprain and some ligament damage. I am almost hobbling around now, so not too bad. Um, yeah, so interesting starts of the weekend, got in work, um, I couldn't really put any weight on it or even drive on the on the Monday, so got in work Tuesday, a couple of hours work and then what happened? See there, no, it's not a love bite, a uh, piece of hot swore stuck onto my neck and uh, what a great start to the week, so it's really has been uh, interesting, um, we watched loads of videos. Not without time to turn all grain. I've got some grains in, a few hops. Um, so I've actually done um, a bitter, not done a bitter for ages. Um, I had the, the Cooper's kit on offer at Wilco's, they were £10. And they also bought at the time, I think there was a couple of the Wilco kits, they were £8. Um, so rather than buy some dry malt extracts, or brewing hunter, I put the two together. So it's a one uh, Cooper's at 1.7 kilogram, one Wilco 1.5 kilogram. Put that in a pan, mix this up, use both the yeast, put them in once it's cool. Get about 5%, be in the bottle about for four or five days. Get a few more weeks and we'll uh, crack into that one. And uh, I'm not expecting too much on the, you know, aromas anything like that but I just wanted a bit session wool and also just to you know I've done a lot of lags recently I've done a couple of wheat bears just wanted something a bit more not so much of the malt uh, the, not the hops it's just the malt just a nice English bitter not too warm not too cold 5% was a bit stronger I would have hoped for I could have actually if I do that again I'll probably do the same thing but maybe um, increase the volume to 25, 26 litres, something like that. A bit more sessionable, you know, say 3.5 to 4.5% something in between, but uh, other than that. Yeah, interesting week. So I think maybe my last video for a while. Um, go away next week. Might put, I've got a beer review, I've got a couple of Steve's, Steve Moulton's beers to do. A couple of offerings from Mr. Christian Brew Bear. Uh, other than that, not too much. I've got a few bits going out to a couple of people do know. I'm sending them bits. Um, I don't send a lot of beers at the moment. I see some cracking reviews out there, all greens, and mine, they haven't really been up to it, and I must admit. Uh, this wheat beer, I'm going to send a couple of those out. I think that is really nice for the budget kit. And I've noticed now Wilco's have got a new range in. 
I've not seen them in the shops, I've seen them on the, um, on the website. Um, you've got the wheat beer, but not a single can kit. I think that's is it 12. Yeah, it might be 12 pounds. So you probably need two of those, or you need one of those plus, you know, a wheat malt extract so it bumps the price up again. Don't know why I've done that because the two can kit. Uh, I thought it was brilliant. And they've got the new hop, hop, is it hop front. Hop front or hop, hop something IPA that looks quite interesting. That's twelve pound. Um, they've got a few of the older kits, and they've also got the new a couple of new Cooper's kits coming through. So yeah, um, well I did not sell the Cooper's kits last time. I did. Is it, is it a lager? I got it in the keg actually. I did. Just wanted something for we had a bit of a get to family get together. Just want something cheap and cheerful. Uh, I've noticed all the Cooper's kits. If you've ever done them, you have like the band on top, and underneath you've got the instructions, the yeast, and I think it's a little, you know, little instruction booklet. And you can write everything in there, um, you know, your gravity, um, the volume, the temperature you add the words, that, that, yeah, the yeast to the words, that kind of thing. But I don't do it anymore. I think it's a bit of a shame that because really good, you know, to keep. Just put one on top of your fermenter and uh, give you some. Uh, Good feedback, otherwise you've got to log it. So uh, I think it's a bit of a mistake by Coopers. So I'll leave it there. Thanks for watching guys. Thanks again for all the support and 600 subs. Really chuffed with that. No competition this time. And uh, But thanks for your support. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend guys and girls. And uh, catch you later.